Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. All right, so who is Zelensky, president uh, of uh, Ukraine? Um, you know, it's time that we really take a look at this. So, sorry, I had had to add in a, a screen grab here. All right, so so who is Zelensky. His name is uh, Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, he is 44 years old. So he has a law degree, but he never practiced law. Uh, he, after getting his degree, he decided instead he wanted to become a comedic actor. Uh, he started his own production company, uh, and it is with that production company that he has for several years, that before becoming president for several years, he was on a comedy show on Ukrainian television where he played the president. By the way, in the show, the name of the show was Servant of the People. His, his production company started a political party of which he is the head of the party and the name of the party is the same as the name of the comedy show, Servant of the People. I, I, I'm not making this up. This is, this is for real. You can look it up. Um, anyway, let me go to this. Now, people keep on, you know, talking, you know, some people are admiring him and, and all this stuff. Um, okay, he's, if you really look at, at him, uh, every image that I see of him, he just looks like he is posing for the camera. And I don't really believe just like he was acting on the uh, television show, I, I just, I, I get the impression every time I listen to him that he is following a script. He is just regurgitating what has been fed to him. So, anyway, I... I'm not going to diss him all that much. It's although he has talked about um, fighting corruption in Ukraine. He has some good stances and uh, that I actually had hopes for Ukraine when he was elected. But... Uh, so he says he, he wants to fight corruption, and yet he himself is listed in the Pandora Papers. Uh, that doesn't speak well to fighting corruption, sorry. Uh, he did say that he was going to end the war in Donbass and uh, improve relations with uh, Russia, and he made efforts, he made some tentative efforts to that effect. Uh, he spoke with Putin, met with Putin, uh, trying to do something about this. The problem with Zelensky is that he is a weak person. I'm, I'm going to bring up his image again. If you look at him, you just... You can get that impression just from from his appearance. He, he's not a strong personality. 
his campaign for president, uh, he had no actual platform uh, for his campaign. His campaign was a series of comedy skits on video. He refused to, and I believe still refuses to, to meet, to be interviewed by the media in his own country. Now, I, I do believe that the media in Ukraine is highly corrupt, but okay, he owns a production company. Why not start another, why not expand that into a more viable and honest media company? Go beyond just a, a comedy production company and expand it. He use your power as president to create a, a state media that is, that is more honest and, and transparent. Anyway, yeah, but okay. So he met with Putin. He he made some efforts, but then he was threatened by a right-wing neo-Nazi elements in the military and within the Ukrainian parliament. He, one year, uh, he was elected in 2019, uh, July of 2019. By September of 2020, his approval rating was below 32%. I mean, in, in one year, now that, I'll say that the pandemic started during, in that time, but indications seem to show that his popularity was declining. He was talking about improving the economy in Ukraine. He has no back, no background in economics. He has no military experience, no law experience. And before being elected as president, he had no political experience. Now, I'm, those aren't necessarily bad things to me, but uh, it does leave him... Uh, when he's used to following a script, it, it just tells you that he is highly prone to intimidation and manipulation. In 2021, months before any Russian uh, buildup uh, or, or exercises, uh, on the border of Ukraine, Zelensky came to America and he met with Joe Biden, um, Blinken, Lloyd Austin, and Victoria Nuland. Well, it, just that meeting alone is enough to increase tensions between Ukraine and Russia. And Sure enough, right after that meeting, he's getting all, all these weapons uh, uh, that being sent in there. He had already he already had weapons being sent in there under Trump. So he gets weapons from Trump. He gets weapons from Biden, and then the amount of weapons dramatically increases. These are things that. Are, uh, are going to increase tensions. All right, so uh, one of his uh, stated stances is that he supports the uh, right of, of Ukrainian citizens to be able to speak, read, and write Russian. However, um, there was a bill that was proposed in 2015 uh, 
to make it illegal to read, write, and speak Russian in Ukraine. And his predecessor, Poroshenko, vetoed that bill. In 2019, the same year that that yeah, Zelensky was elected, he he signed that bill. He made it a law that it is illegal to read, write, and speak Russian in Ukraine. So while he says one thing, he does the exact opposite. Instead, okay, I can understand being threatened by the right-wing elements, but to go the exact, the extreme opposite and go straight for militarism and confrontation with Russia, those are very different things. Economically, under uh, the uh, Yanukovych uh, in Ukraine, Ukraine has had a lot of economic problems under Yanukovych, who was overthrown in 2014 in the Euromaidan. Um, Let me bring that part up, excuse me. All right, under 2004, well, I guess that wasn't Yanukovych. That was too far back. 2004, they had about a 12% GDP growth. And, and they still had 2007 and 8%. All right, this is 2009. That was global. All right, under Yanukovych, they still had a, a 5% GDP growth. This is 2011. Now, it dropped 2012, 2013, but they were not in decline. Here's 2014, the year on my done. A, a decline, minus 10%. 2015, ni- minus 9%. They came back up to 2.4%. Under Poroshenko, they they went to a more modest 3 point something percent. Hey, okay, 2019, and then Zelensky gets elected, and look what happens, minus 4%. Uh, so his economic policies obviously have a lot to uh, <laughs> be desired. Uh, yes, 20, that was looking at 2020, but the GDP decline had started as soon as Zelensky was elected. So he he doesn't he's not successful uh, with economics or with foreign policy uh, you know I look at where his country is uh, he says one thing does another he may have some uh, ideas that he expresses which are positive but then if his actions go directly against it then uh, there, uh, you know, he says he's against uh, corruption, and then he's listed in the Pandora Papers, and none of this fit, fits together. This is who you are, uh, you know, praising as the leader of uh, Ukraine, and uh, so, you know, when. <laughs> He still says that he is in uh, Kiev, but when every image of him, uh, uh, you know, is it can be staged, uh, it still is a question. Maybe he is, but you know, if you look at the images from uh, Kiev, Kiev is not under bombardment. I mean, 
as I am recording this, uh, this is a live feed from Kiev, uh, from Ukraine right now, uh, from a Greek station right here, up here in the top right. This is Maidan Square. Uh, this is where most of the government resides, right in here. You know, just like our National Mall, Maidan Square is where most of the government resides. You've got this big glass dome that's still intact. All the lights are on. Um, you know, this is live video right now. So, uh, yeah, he may be in Kiev. Uh, that's a very valid point he, he may be in Kiev but that just means that it's safe to be in Kiev right uh, if you're not in at a a military installation then you, then he's perfectly fine anyway all these contradictions uh, you know damaging, uh, policies and actions on his part, he does seem to be following a script. You, you look at him, he poses for a camera, and, uh, you know, he is he, he's an actor. He is an actor that is following a script. So, anyway, uh, who is giving him that script? We don't know. Uh, but where is this script leading it doesn't look good does it all right so share this video talk about these subjects if you can please donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel and i will catch you in the next one